Welcome back, friends. It's Friday. Our next guest, Ann Dinkle, is the co-owner of Bay Area Bistro, and she has brought some delicious-looking Filipino cuisine for us to try today. Ann, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank Hi, you. Ann. You're welcome. Hi, thank you for having me here today. We're happy to have you. That was incredible. It really does. Tell us about your, the cuisine here. So we're Filipino food, Filipino cuisine. Um, I came from San Francisco, which is the Bay Area Bistro. Yeah. That's why we name it Bay Area Bistro, way back in 2017. Okay. And uh, when I came here, I can't find any Filipino restaurant, huh. which is very authentic. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I can't find anyone, so I was like, all right, let me make one. Oh, that's great. So that's the start. So, yeah, and uh, everybody liking it, and, you know, we continue at the farmer's market. And uh, for this year, I'll have like four farmer's market. Oh, wonderful. You're busy. Oh, wow. Good. We'll for someone busy. who's never tried Filipino cuisine, Yes. How would you describe it? Like, what's the secret to it? Well, we, we, we put passion in every cooking that we make, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's not easy to make. It's okay. not like you're tossing something and there you go, you know, mac and cheese and that's it, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, this one, eh, you have, before you make one cuisine, it, it will take a lot of, you know, a lot of yeah. prepping. Okay. So, mm -hmm. Takes yeah. a lot of work, so lot of work. the flavor's you gonna be good. You can tell it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So can you walk us through some of these dishes here? And oh, I can hold okay, this for you. Sure. Sorry, we had a little mic issue. <laughs> sure. We got you now. No problem. So can you just kind of walk us through some of these beautiful dishes you made? Sure, so um, this is a shomai. Okay. So I always say like, I'll show you my love. So show my love. Love that. So, um, we make it handmade, so you know, uh, from the scratch. Okay. Wow. Um, this is is a basically new. I'm I'm introducing here, only here. So this is a um, a long silog musubi. So like longanisa sinangag, sinangag is garlic, oh, okay. and then the it, the itlog is like egg. Okay. So long silog, and then you know I made it as a musubi, so easier to bite. It looks easy. incredible. Look how fun that oh, is. Right. And this is um, spam musubi. Okay. Um, and then with no egg, this one. Okay. So. Um, um, it's basically a popular food in Hawaii. Okay. Which is we love to go in Hawaii. Yeah. And again, I can't find anything like that here. So I I've never seen that. I love that you're like, yeah. you know what? I'm just gonna make it. I can't I find it. I'm gonna go I'm out gonna and do it. it. And what's uh, what kind of meat is that on the skewer there? Uh, this is a pork. Okay. So oh, pork, yeah, good. pork barbecue. This and looks very good too. Yeah, that's yes, good. and that's like a pancit bihon guisado. It's uh, with chicken and veggie. Oh wow! And um, put like lots of garlic fried rice on that one. Oh, uh, not fried rice, but garlic rice. I mean, yeah. garlic fried. Okay. <laughs> not rice. Yes, oh wow! Yes. Man, there's so many should options. We, Jill, what do you think? Should we get feeling? in there? I just, yeah. I see a fork I, I think, here. I think we kinda, yeah. I feel like we try. definitely should. Oh, you know, man, does this look good? This Everything looks, looks so and smells good. so fresh too. Oh my yep. goodness! Yeah. All oh, right. I'm excited. Ready? Oh. Oh my word. Mm. That is so mm -hmm, tasty. Mm -hmm. Crisp Perfect. veggies. Mm. Good yep. sauce. Oh my gosh. The flavor of that is amazing. That's awesome. Thank oh you. my goodness. You're I doing it right, Ann. Yeah. What's going on over here? Yeah. Too? So, on that side, um, that's uh, the veggie lumpia. Okay. It's the, the bigger one. Yeah. Um, so, it's like bean sprout, jicamas, carrots, like all the good stuff. Okay. And then this is the classic lumpia. Okay. So have you ever had lumpia? I don't think I have. Oh, it's so good. My nanny used to make it. Well, it's now awesome. I've got and to then, try it. And then this is like a mango chili sauce that okay. we make. So, you have to dip it in. Ooh, you all right. Dip it in here. Mango, mango chili. chili. Okay, yeah. I'm excited about this. So, Anne, as we're trying this delicious food that you've uh, very graciously brought us, where can people <laughs> find you and follow you to get yes. this food? You guys can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. All right. Oh. We're going to deal with that. All right. That's, uh, that's the fire alarm. No. That's fine. That Is this a real one or no? Nope. Okay. We're figuring that out. <laughs> There's the information about where you can find Anne and Bay Area Bistro all over town Fishers, Saxony, Fort Bend and the Philippine Cultural Center once a month. And thank you so much for being no here today. It's they live TV, you never know what's gonna happen sometimes. Our apologies right now. Yeah. Um, this is a false alarm, yes? Uh, we're figuring it out, okay. We're gonna figure Anne, that thank out. thank you so much. The show goes on. The show Anne, goes on. thank you, thank you for no being problem. so flexible. We gotta have you back on, thank you so much. This is delicious. Well, um, I think we're <laughs> Okay, so okay, they're we're handling told it. We're handling it, Should so we, it's okay that we're, what, Kerrigan, what would you like uh, us to do Kerrigan, in this would moment? you like us to go to break or go to the next segment? <laughs> uh, okay. okay. We're just going to keep enjoying this lumpia. Just keep on eating. There we go. It's oh. off. Perfect. Okay. Wonderful. And so nice to meet you. Yeah. Good to meet you. That's a Thank first. You. We've never had that happen. We've never had that. Wow. Well, the food was just so fire. That's oh, what yes. happens. We'll get a pick after. Absolutely. Well, right after this segment. You know what? I'm bringing the food over with. Yeah. You. Well, well, our good Chris, friend Chris well, Lloyd is here from the Film Yap. Yes, oh, good to yeah, see that's you. a fun Friday. You, just, you never know what's going to happen with live TV. Um, my first thought, 
the cops finally caught up with <laughs> me. <laughs> they finally, oh, yeah. they finally got gotcha. you. After me. Um, Chris is our, our, our resident film critic. He, uh, he and his team at the Film Yep have awesome reviews. Let's dive right in, Chris. What's new in theaters this weekend? Kind of a slower week. You know, we had some big movies recently. Got some big movies coming next week, but kind of like some smaller indie films. First one up is Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret. Okay. Oh, yeah. Of course, if you're of a certain age like me, you kind of grew up with those Judy Bloom books. <laughs> Uh, and I'm just really pleased to say this is just an absolutely spectacular adaptation. One of the best family films I've seen in a while. Of course, it's about a girl who's 12. It's set in 1970. She's have, having to move from New York City to New Jersey, make new friends, trying to fit in and wait for all those things that are going to happen as you grow up that aren't quite happening for her as fast, it seems like, as everybody else. Terrific performances uh, by her. I also really love Rachel McAdams as the mother. I love and in her. some ways, it's as much her story as it is Margaret's. And I'm just so pleased they did such a great job with it. Okay, oh, I cannot God, wait to see that. Margaret. I remember reading that book when I was younger too. Classic. Showing up. What's this one about? So this is a drama. Stars Michelle Williams um, as a woman who works in like an artist school, kind of almost like a community, like a commune. She's also a sculptor herself, and she's just going through all these different challenges. She's got a big show coming up, which she's excited about, but. You know, she feels like she's really not respected as an artist by the people at the school, her parents who are also artists, her brother who is dealing with some mental health challenges, and she's also dealing with uh, her friends slash landlady uh, who lives next door and really doesn't seem to be helping out as much as play, played by Hong Chao, of course, just a recent uh, Oscar nominee. Interesting film, kind of like very observational. Okay. I kind of wish it had a little bit more to say as opposed to just sort of standing back and observing. Hmm. Let's just look at life of the artist as it really is lived. Okay. Talk to us about polite society. So this is a funny spoof, action-filled martial arts. It's about, uh, it's, it's, set, it's set in uh, Britain with an Indian family and this young woman who is training to be a martial artist and movie stunt woman. Huh. Uh, and so she needs to apply her skills because it turns out her sister is being is getting married to a family she doesn't approve of. Uh, and so it becomes like this whole big funny, she's gonna like go in there like a spy thing. And of course, turns out the, the, the family of, uh, <laughs> uh, is actually like an evil cabal. And so just oh. funny oh. action comedy. This actually played at um, Indie Film Fest and yeah. is now making its theatrical debut. Okay. Oh, wow, that's, that's gonna be good. What about big George Foreman? Yeah, well, not too many uh, surprises here. This is a biopic of George Foreman. Yeah. Chris Davis plays the legend, the icon himself. And it follows him kind of all through his young boxing life. Uh, you know, coming up, uh, uh, Forrest Whitaker plays his manager, trainer, uh, of course becomes the champion and then goes out, uh, goes down to Muhammad Ali and becomes a preacher. And then at a very late age, uh, goes back into boxing and tries to become the heavyweight championship again. I think we all know how that turned out for him, but it is very much in the in inspiring sports movie mold here. Does it get to the part of his life and career where he sells like those, uh, the, the, yeah. the, the grill thingies? The grill. I, the, the, I do not think that's included, although yeah. maybe, maybe a little hint okay. at the end. Okay. I did not, they did not screen that one for us, so unfortunately I haven't seen that one as yet. Yeah. More boxing, less grilled chicken. Okay, um, what's, what's out on streaming? A uh, big one is this week is on Disney Plus. We've got Peter Pan and Wen Wendy, okay. which is a new live action adaptation uh, of the story. I think this one's really more for kids. Hmm. It's got a lot of great action, zippy stuff. It's got a nice sort of multicultural uh, aspect of looking at the movies from a different uh, perspective. Uh, we've got some girls amongst the Lost Boys. Uh, that's actually Mila Jovovich's daughter as Wendy. Oh, wow. She's real good. I'm forgetting the name of the actor who plays Peter Pan. He's good as well. Jude Law plays Captain Hook and sort of a very different take. He's more like a sad, oh, tragic wow. figure. Um, dragged a little for me, but this is maybe one you put on for the kids on Disney Plus. Yeah. And maybe you've got like uh, the NBA games going on your phone while you're, sure. the kids are watching that type of thing. <laughs> How's it stack up against Hook? Because that's an amazing I game. love Hook. Yeah. I think Hook is a very underappreciated film. Oh, it's great. Yeah. It's okay. really good. Peter Pan and Wendy. Fun. So we've got one last promotion to touch on. Yes, here. it's another week, another promotion. Uh, Scream 6 is out on digital this week, and we're giving away a bunch of copies on digital nice. to people. So sign up for that. And one lucky winner will get some cool swag, including oh, Ghostface. Sweat, hey, sweatshirt. That little logo. Yes, that we've got a, a tote bag and a scream beanie. Okay. Oh, when you guys wow. want to try on the scream that was beanie. Cute. You know, um, Kerrigan is requesting that, that you put this on. You know what? Thank you, producer Kerrigan. <laughs> I gladly will put on this scream six beanie. Yeah. And <laughs> it just completes the ensemble. Oh, it, that actually kind of works. With it the actually kind of works with you the skulls and the flowers. Amazing.
Yeah, yeah so head on over to filmyout.substack.com. You got until 5 p.m. today to sign up to win okay. this cool swag or Scream 6. Awesome. I love it. Chris, thank, thank you, you so, much. so much. Chris, and of course, if people want to follow along, the Film Yap, he's got his team always yeah. reviewing all of those movies and more. The website right there. Thank you so much, and thank you for dealing with the fire alarm. Always a pleasure. Yeah. It's Casual always fun. Yeah, studio. thanks, yeah. Chris. Still to come, we're going to introduce you to the owners of Wood Lane Design and ask them how you can save on some of their custom decor and gifts. Stick around, friends. We're going to be back in just two and a half short minutes. Alumni.